This is the B-29 Superfortress, Queen of the Skies, the most advanced bomber of World War II and the most expensive. Some called the plane the $3 billion gamble. Building this aircraft proved more costly than the entire Manhattan Project by a full $1 billion. The gamble paid off and the B-29 became the most devastating weapon system ever committed to combat. This is the story of the men who gave this machine life and made it the most feared weapon of World War II. Bombardier, who sits directly ahead of the pilot and co-pilot. Navigator, who is some distance behind the pilot, facing forward. Flight engineer, who is directly behind the co-pilot, facing aft. Radio operator, who sits across from the navigator and faces the right wall. Gun commander, who is in the top of the fuselage amidships and can face in any direction. Left gunner, who faces aft. Right gunner, who also faces aft. And the tail gunner. His combat position, of course, is in the tail. The 444th was the first group of the famed 58th Bomb Wing, tasked with taking the dangerous and untested B-29 directly into combat. But in early 1944, none of the planes were ready. The air crews had few hours of actual B-29 flight time because the aircraft were always being repaired or modified. Nonetheless, the 444th prepared to take the B-29 to war. The 444th originally consisted of four bomb squadrons, the 676th Squadron, the 677th Squadron, the 678th Squadron, and the short-lived 679th, deactivated in November 1944. This is the story of one of the least recognized yet most important fighting units of World War II. 